Uh, we're all seeing right now, there's a lot of saber, saber rattling going on with China as they're ascending. Uh, a lot of concern about Taiwan. Um, I actually saw this coming about five years ago and I was very concerned about the political climate and what that would mean. And it, I didn't want to be, I didn't want to have to relocate my business under duress. I wanted to do it according to a plan. Um, and I don't, I, we're from the United States, obviously. And uh, within my market, with the people I talk to, there's, a, there's becoming a more and more com, uh, consumer resentment against the brand made in China. I almost daily people ask, you know, is your product made in China? English, I can't underestimate this, uh, overemphasize this enough. The fact that you're dealing with people in India that speak English is such an advantage. Um, the ba you can, whether you're talking to the owner of the company or you go into the factory, you, you can actually have a conversation with the workers. One of the things I was very frustrated in, in China where I would send my specifications to uh, the rep, the sales rep, typically 21 year old female. And she would be the only one in the whole organization that spoke English. And even when you're there visiting the factory and you're trying to talk to the management, everything's going through a translator. Um, you have no idea if what you're saying is actually being translated correctly. And if she makes a mistake translating your, your requirements and specs,